Apple's HomePod just got a cool new software feature and it didn't even require a software update. You can now use sound recognition to be alerted of smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector alarms going off in your house even when you're not home. I'm Jason Cipriani and in this ZDNet how-to video I'm going to show you how to turn the feature on and what it looks like when it's triggered. Alright, so Apple rolled out a new architecture for the Home app a few months ago. There was a bunch of issues with it. It totally borked some HomeKit installations. I was one of those people that had to go through it with the release of iOS 16.3. The HomeKit architecture was once again re-released in iOS 16.4 and it can be enabled by HomeKit users. The reason I'm telling you this part of the equation for sound recognition is you have to have the new home architecture activated and upgraded on your HomeKit system in order for this feature to work. So what you'll need to do is make sure your HomePods are updated to iOS or HomePod OS 16.4. Then in the Home app itself, you'll need to go into Home Settings, Software Update, and upgrade to the home architecture. I haven't read about widespread issues in upgrading to the architecture since the re-release, but if you want sound recognition, you need to use the new architecture and have it in upgraded in order to enable sound recognition. If you want to hold off, that's fine. You just can't use sound recognition yet. It's up to you. So once you have all of that taken care of, the easiest way to go about doing this and the easiest way I was able to do it was Apple rolled this out this week. Uh, I waited 24 hours and then woke up to a message on my screen letting me know uh, in the home app, that is, that there's new safety and security features available. Sound recognition detects smoke or carbon monoxide alarm sounds and allows you, or allows home members to check in during critical events. I tapped on continue and turn on and it automatically enabled it for all HomePods in my home kit or assigned to this home. There's another way of doing that. You can go into, if you don't see that prompt, you can go into the home app, select any HomePod that's currently added to your home, and then you'll go to the settings portion of it. You can either tap on the settings gear icon or scroll down until you find sound recognition. Tap the switch to turn it on, then you'll see a list of devices or home pods you can turn it on in your home select the ones you want to have on turn the ones off you want to have off i mean why not leave it on you already have home pods in your house with the mic always listening for the trigger phrase i'm not going to say it right now so i don't trigger my home pod but why not let them listen to alarms it's pretty simple dead easy to activate what about what does it look like when an alarm goes off. Well, I have a fire alarm here. I'm gonna put it in test mode. I have a HomePod mini across the room and we'll see what happens. I just tested this inside and freaked out my entire family because it sent alerts to everyone that's added to the home. Uh, so I have given them proper warning that there will be more alerts coming. I'm giving you a proper warning that this might be loud, I don't know. Turn down your volume. If you have headphones in, definitely turn down your volume. But I'm gonna set this off on test mode and then we'll see what happens as far as push alerts go on my phone. Last time it took about 30 seconds. So I got in a critical alert, which breaks through, do not disturb, breaks through everything. You heard the, the noise, it's a special noise for critical alerts in the home app. The alert says, an alarm sound was detected by Office HomePod Mini, which is the HomePod I have sitting over there, check in now. So if I open it, so checking in means I can listen in to the audio, I'm gonna turn that off. 
checking in means I can listen to the audio on my iPhone that is being captured by the HomePod Mini. So if I was away from home and I needed to check in to make sure everything was okay and see if an alarm was really going off, I could do that just by tapping on the alert on my phone. I don't know if you can hear it, but the HomePod said, hey, a family member is checking in on this HomePod. If you don't want them to be able to listen, double tap on the top of the HomePod. It's a privacy feature, pretty handy. But I can then listen, if no one was home, I can listen, see if the alarm was really going off, if it was a false alarm, no pun intended. And then if I need to, there's even an option to talk directly from my phone through the HomePod. And then, really if I needed to, I could call for emergency help if the alarm truly was going off or someone was hurt or injured or whatever else. Pretty cool. And you didn't really have to do anything other than tap a few buttons in the Home app and this is available on the HomePod Mini, the original HomePod, and the new second gen HomePod that was just released a few months ago. I, it was announced in January, pretty cool feature. Glad it's finally out, easy enough. I'm Jason Cipriani with ZDNet. Thanks for watching this how-to video. Hopefully you learned how to enable sound recognition on your HomePod. And make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips just like this one, as well as all the latest news and reviews.